So far we've been traveling three hours looking for a place to stay. Every rat stinking hole they uh, tried to get into, they wouldn't allow us in. So now I think we're going to have to stay in back of some some old abandoned school bus <laughs> over on Route 95. That's showbiz. Hi, I'm Aaron Weinstein. I was the violinist in the acoustic jazz quintet Hop Club USA during the group's three-week tour of the Midwest. Hop Club USA was formed in 1995 by New York guitarist Frank Vignola. The group pays tribute to the quintet of the Hot Club of France, the original acoustic jazz group made famous in the 1930s by gypsy guitar virtuoso Django Reinhardt and jazz violin pioneer Stefan Grappelli. Contrasting with the original quintet's three guitar, violin, and bass instrumentation, Hot Club USA exchanges the third guitar for an African djembe drum, giving the group an added percussive edge, resulting in fresh interpretations of classic jazz repertoire. Throughout the tour, we traveled through small and medium-sized towns, performing jazz for people who, for the most part, have never heard acoustic jazz performed live before. Hot Club USA's leader and guitarist, Frank Vignola, creates a style steeped in the swing tradition while encompassing elements of modern jazz. Frank Vignola, hard to read, really hard to read. He's kind of perfected and mastered deadpan comedy. Uh, the group started in 1914 uh, when I met up with the great violinist Joe Venuti. He has uh, such a straight kind of dry humor that sometimes he starts actually believing the, uh, the nonsense that uh, that he's talking about. Yes, you were flat and you were sharp, you were rushed and you were dragged. Other than that, it was great. Hot Club USA's co-leader, Joe Ascioni, combines the lightning-fast technique of Buddy Rich with musical sensitivity and humor adding an ever-swinging pulse which becomes the group's foundation. He has an interesting uh, way of processing foods. Uh, the soft, chewable cookies are very good. You don't want to be standing there, Joe. The, uh, these are a little stale, so... Great guy, you know, a pleasure musically to, to play with. Joe, <laughs> The 
group's bassist, Joel Forbes, laid down a solid swinging foundation. Throughout the tour, he was the group's navigator. We're trying to get from around here to around here, and we're kind of doing this way there. We're hoping we get here in time to find the hotel. His skills were put to the test when we were driving to a gig and found ourselves in the middle of a Kansas tornado. Hamilton County, Kearney County, Finney County, Stanton, Grant, Haskell, Seward, Gray. Basically, we're traveling the tornado corridor for the next 12 hours or so. Don Keeling, Hot Club USA's guitarist and vocalist, always provides superb rhythmic support. However, his view on life is a little dark. This is terrible. So there we were on our last date in Liberal, Kansas. Everyone's been telling us, you gotta go to Liberal, you see Dorothy's house, you can see Munchkin. When we came into Liberal, Don was less than enthused. Smell the cheap. Well, we pulled into Munchkin land. It turned out to be a rusty swing set. And the yellow brick road, it's not even all yellow. And you have a fish pond in the middle of the whole thing. But nevertheless, we, uh, we played the concert. It was a success. And, uh, and we began on the journey home.
I'll be back. You can count on that.